Hi everybody, Jay Martins here, and I'm here to encourage you today in your creative journey, because I am here to help humanity manifest its creative potential. And I want to manifest some potential in you. I think that you have an awesome idea. You've got a great skill, because everybody has a different skill set. And I think that today, I am going to sit back. I'm going to sit back a little bit. And I'm going to let you encourage yourself. Okay? I want you to just think back. Use your own memories. And I want you to think back when you first started. When you first started on your creative journey. What was that thing that like tweaked you to get into being and sharing and giving and experiencing the creative process? What was that? I would love to hear that. Everybody else would love to hear that because it's those stories that just, mmm, they just resonate with people. Put them in the comments below. And I know I'm not going to get off that easy. So how did I get into doing creative things? Well, a lot of creatives will probably have a similar type of story. I don't know. But I wasn't really good at sports. And I literally had to choose between doing band or doing drama because of the way the options worked in my junior high. And I was like, oh, I could do band or I could do drama. And I didn't have any skill on any instrument at that point. So I said, well, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I can stand in the back. I can just do some drama. I can just, you know, fill my course load, tick the box, didn't really think about it. Then, when I was presented with the opportunities that came with drama, I remember just a couple of Mr. Redifer's, hey, shout out Mr. Redifer, um, Mr. Redifer's drama class, and it was, it was, it was mind altering. It was like, you can go on stage and you can be somebody else for a little while, and if you get really good at it, you can be other people all the time, and you can actually show other people all these different areas and aspects of people that have existed in the past or fictional people that exist in a script and you can you can you can take those and you can make them your own in a sense and then you can share those with people it was un uh, mind blown then i went into high school and we had uh, improv games that we used as part of the drama course there and i was like improv you're, oh, it was it was like it was like Christmas morning. I got to do some acting. I got to do characters. I got to use accents. I got to be all physically crazy and and stuff on stage. And I didn't need to spend four months memorizing a script. <laughs> it took me four months. I was slow with the scripting, but I was like my mind was just bubble again, and it was. It was just like the perfect combination for for me because I was like, I was a young kid, I was looking for something, and it was so much fun. And I realized that I had already been doing it. We had uh, a couple of a couple of my buddies are gonna do some Paul, Daryl, Chris shoutouts, and uh, we we did some videos as a kid. And if I get the time, I might actually upload them if. You know, if I can get a hundred, if I can get a thousand comments on here, I will upload the glove video that we made when we were like, what, 12 or 13? It was crazy. But we had fun with it. And we were just being creative. So those two incidents, you know, having this kind of, eh, I got to do something. I'm not going to do bands. So I guess I'm going to fall into this category, my de facto um, move into drama class. And then when we started doing theater sports, I was like, ah, oh, this is gold. So ever since then, I've been, you know, mentally hoarding and collecting all sorts of different lines from movies and shows and, you know, different physicalities that I've seen in the movies and, and stuff that I've experimented and made in my own and then doing some, some voices and characterizations. I just love doing that. So that's kind of how I got in. So Definitely, I want to hear about how you got sucked into the creative lifestyle. 
in the comments below. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.